What's up? Today is a new day, a day of a new era. Today is currently May 11th, 2023, and this was the exact same day when I dropped my first ever YouTube video last year on May 11th of 2022. And today, I want to talk about how this channel got started. So mainly, I want to take you all the way back when I was a kid, I made YouTube videos. So it's 2016 during the summer, and I'm at my grandmother's house for the whole week. And mainly when I'm at her house, I'll just watch some TV or I might just play with the dogs. And then since I got bored, I went to my grandmother's room to ask her if she wanted me to do something for her. But then when I went to her room, I seen she had a purple tablet sitting on her dresser. And then I asked her, hey, can I play on the tablet? And she said, as long as I'm not on it for way too long because she needed to use it for later. So I'm on the tablet and then I see this little app called YouTube. And I did not know what YouTube was till that year of 2016. And as a kid, I did not know what YouTube was. And I wanted to see what YouTube was about. So I click on YouTube, and I'm just watching a bunch of random videos. So all of them were funny, tame and exciting. So I just told myself, I just said, hey, I want to record YouTube videos on myself. So then I go to this little icon and it says record. So I set up the tablet, and I just started making videos on myself. And in these videos, I just record myself just doing dancing. So playing with the dogs and also making some basketball videos. I upload them to YouTube and all some of them got over 30 to 25 views. Some of them went over 100 to 300 views and I only gained over nine subscribers on, on the channel, even though it was only recorded on my grandmother's account and I didn't even have an account. Then it's three years later then I just remember to myself, hey, did I not just remember recording YouTube videos as a kid? So then I go on YouTube and I just search up a, a title of one of my random videos. Then I see my grandmother's account was still there and the videos were still there of me as a kid. And then I just told myself, hey, I want to show it to the whole family. But then when I showed it to my brother, my brother was literally laughing at me because of these embarrassing videos I made of myself. It's not just that. Even my grandmother didn't even know I was making YouTube videos or even... Mainly, no, nobody in my family didn't even know I was making YouTube videos. So even though I showed it to my brother, I just told myself I'm not going to show it to nobody else, but just only him. And then it, then I told myself was, hey, I should, I should really go back to making YouTube videos. So it's middle school year, and I'm in eighth grade, and, um, and it's a B-day, and I have gym class every B-day. And I just came up with an idea. I just said was I'm going to create a random account and start making YouTube videos all over again. Then my first YouTube video was just recording my friends playing basketball. And I uploaded to YouTube and I said I wasn't going to check until the next day, another 24 hours, 24 hour, hours the next day. And then I checked the video and I seen I got 125 views with 17 likes and I gained over seven subscribers. And then I decided was, hey, I want to show it to my friends to show them that they just went viral on YouTube, even though they didn't actually go viral because 125 views ain't enough. So I show my friends the videos and then they say, hey, when did you record this? And I said I recorded the day when they were uh, playing basketball, even though they were doing this little thing called the Who's for Heart. And if you don't know what that is, it was basically a tournament where you get to where you just sign up just to play on different types of teams and you're just a team captain. And then uh, since they did, since I did have them on YouTube, they decided was to to subscribe to my channel. And I said thanks, and then I gained three more subscribers, which led me a total of ten. And it's not just that; even though I created this channel, I even asked my dad if I can do YouTube myself, but then he said no because he even told me how is YouTube going to pay your bills. And I said if I'm working a job, I can do I can work a job and do YouTube at the same time. He even told me himself, YouTube is harder than I think think it is, and I'm not. I, and I probably wouldn't make any growth on, on YouTube if I even done YouTube in the first place. And then, even though I was furious at my dad and I was mad at him because he didn't let me do YouTube videos, even though I did it behind his back and he didn't know about my channel, so I'm recording more YouTube videos day after day after day. And I'm getting over about 200 to 300 views per video, and then there was like this wrong moment. Where like um uh, where it was like this one day I came back from school and my sister uh wasted some food and my mom said she could not eat until she got back. 
and it's the next day going forward. And then I came up with an idea to like make my sister get angry and then post her on YouTube because she couldn't eat. And then when she got home from school, uh, I told e, I told my little sister that she could not eat until mom got home. She's sitting all mad with an attitude. I pull up, I pull up my tablet and I record her that. And then like I told her like she couldn't eat until until nobody got home. And then since she said I'm te- I'm telling mom, my mom was even at home. My grandmother was the only one at home, even though she was living with us before she moved out. Um, so I record my little sister running upstairs, and she started doing all this crying and stuff. Then my grandmother's all mad, saying, "It's why why you ain't feeding your sister?" I told my grandmother that she couldn't eat until my mom got home. So my grandmother forced me to uh, feed her, and so I made her food, uh, posted the YouTube video. Even though when I posted it, it didn't even get a lot of views. It only ended up with only four viewers. And no likes because mainly I did try to humiliate my own sister, even though I feel bad for myself. But hey, I just told myself I'm never doing that again because I know like some of y'all would mainly like record your siblings just to get them more angry, just to like post it on social media, just so then you can get followers or maybe subscribers to help you feel good. But let me tell you something. Don't do stupid stuff like that just to humiliate your own siblings, just to make yourself feel good because it's just a bad idea. So continuing going forward, I'm still making YouTube videos, and I was and, and I ended off with only 37 subscribers in under a year. And it's 2020, and when when COVID story hit, and then it was at this wrong moment where my brother did record me asking me, "Hey, when uh, when's your next YouTube video coming out?" And I said, "Coming out soon." One day, uh, my dad said he needed to see me and my brother's tablets. While he's looking through everything that we were doing on the tablets, basically our history, I was hoping he he didn't find out about my channel. He called he calls me upstairs, and he asks me, "YouTube videos? What YouTube videos? Are are you?" And then he he even said, "Are you doing YouTube videos with Hunter Bats?" When he specifically told me I could not make YouTube videos. So I just told myself, what am I going to do? Should I tell him the truth that I was making YouTube videos? Or should I say, no, I was just making a joke that I was actually making YouTube videos, so though it's not. So I lied to my dad's face. Then my mom searches up uh, my uh, YouTube account. And then I'm hearing my videos from across my room to her room. I said, oh my gosh, I'm dead. And he was really mad that I did humiliate my own sister and post it on YouTube. And he, my dad even told me why I was even making YouTube videos, even though I didn't ask permission to make YouTube videos in the first place. And I just said, and I just told myself, I just want to make YouTube videos just to make people happy. Like, I just want to do something like I, I just wanted to make videos just, just because I just want to make people happy, uh, to show them what I do with my life, just mainly just make YouTube videos. And I gotta tell you, he made me go apologize to my sister. My dad made me delete every single video off my channel. And I also had to delete the channel as well. Three years later, going past sophomore year, and I meet this guy, and his name is Ty Doolittle. I started having good conversations with Ty, and I even asked Ty, well, what does he do for a living? And he says is he works a job, he helps his family, and he does YouTube. And then um, I look at his channel. I was all like, wow, I can't believe he does YouTube too. I even told told him I, I used to do YouTube myself until my until um until my parents won't let me do it no more. And then Ty gave me the confidence of that I should actually start doing YouTube all over again. And that gave me an idea. I just told myself, I I, I done YouTube twice. And I didn't do it no more, and I wanted to do it over again. And then, um, and then it's and then it's like a few weeks later, uh, I meet this guy, and his name's Jaden. And Jaden, Jaden is a pretty cool guy, and he does YouTube too, and he makes some pretty good content. I'm not gonna lie. And I decided was to ask my parents, saying, "Can I please do YouTube all over again?" And then my dad asked me, what, what kind of content am I going to record? And I did not know. I had no idea what I was going to come out with. And then it and then it just popped out. I just said, I'm going to just record gaming videos. And my and the first ever video that I wanted to come out with was me playing Geometry Dash. 
And then I hire Ty as my editor because I even watch some of Ty's videos and he does edit his own videos. And I got to say, his editing skills is really good. So I asked Ty if he could be my editor and edit my first ever YouTube video. So my plan was after school, I come home and I could uh, start uh, recording right away and while playing Geometry Dash. And since that was out of the way, because uh, because it's basically it was May the eighth, and that was the day when I wanted to uh, upload my first uh, video. And then since um, I couldn't be able to have the chance to record at home, instead of my mom taking me home, I had to come with her to my sister's soccer practice. And uh, I just told myself, dang, because I really had something planned on to do, and I really wanted to uh, start my YouTube channel right away. And then I just told myself, you know what? Why not I just record my video, my first ever YouTube video outside, in which I don't think nobody would never record a gaming video outside. But then, so I pull up my phone and then I start my intro. Then I record my video of me playing Geometry Dash. And then I said, was, hey, I want to get the video dropped on May 11th. My channel started off with zero subscribers. When my editor got done editing the video, I told him to uh, upload it. And then I said I wasn't going to check the video till May the 12th. And then I wake up in the morning, and the video ended off with 53 views, and I gained 25 subscribers in just under a day. And I'm like, wow. And I have gotten some comments, some really good comments. And people were saying it was like, wow. I, this was a really good video. This was fire, and I should just keep recording more Geometry Dash videos. But that's when I went from 25 subscribers to 47. It was at this one moment where I did hit 100 subscribers, but I can't remember when, but I think it was during uh, the summer. Um, yeah, it was during the summer of 2022. I ended up with 100 subscribers. and So I just kept recording videos after videos after videos. So now in total, we already have over 455 subscribers. Everybody around me always asks me, hey, are you getting paid by YouTube? And you see right here, we don't have we don't have the uh, amount of subscribers or the watch hours we need in order to get paid by YouTube. And my goal is to hit 1000 subscribers. Like, I don't care if I don't hit 10,000 thousand or 100k or a million that's not my pro problem to hit my goal is to hit 1000 subscribers on the channel and um and i just like to say is thank you for all y'all love and y'all support because this channel took a lot of effort and a uh, shout out to uh ty for editing my video just making my channel uh getting all this growth and then shout out to Jaden, like, comment, subscribe, and turn those post notifications on for whenever I post brand new videos.